You just can't help but really want to get involved and, and give it all your best. When motorcycle enthusiast Paul Letardo was first contacted by the Tri, he was so excited to use his passion for good. For all 10 years, Paul and a fleet of motorcyclists have provided support along the route for mechanics, medics, and officials. When we first did this, um, I mean, I knew what it was about, but I didn't feel what it was about. But over the past decade, the participants have inspired Otardo. Each year, he guides the first cyclist through the course. I started hear, hearing all the, excuse me, all the cheering and support. Then, then I knew what the race, what that race was really about. It's more than just a race. It is, um, it's really the celebrating of, of the spirit of the people who have cancer, who are still with us, and those who are not with us. For Carolyn Hoffman, the 10-year medical coordinator who used to do triathlons herself, this race is unique. You know, some people are out there for a loved one who didn't, didn't win the battle against cancer. Some are out there for a neighbor who is battling it right now. Hoffman says supporting the participants from the sidelines can feel just as special as doing the race. It's a neat thing to be a part of. And I think when volunteers realize that, they want to come back or they want to tell a friend. The volunteers that hand out t-shirts and make coffee and bring donuts, they're, they're doing every bit as much as anybody else is. And uh, it's great to see them all come together. Both of them agreeing it's the energy of the whole event that keeps them coming back. And there are so many good causes out there, but when you find one that's kind of near to dear to your heart, I think it's it makes it that much more special. It really nurtures your soul when you have the opportunity to give back and to give back for a cause that's really well worth it. And, and the Tri is one of those events. This year, nearly 500 volunteers are participating in the Tri. That means about one volunteer for every three participants. Aaron Dixon, WMTW News 8.